Joining them in Nome are another 10 teams parked in the garage, ready for wrench day tomorrow. Jordan Rodenberger is in Nome tonight and fills us in on all the race action at the halfway point. In March, it's the burled arch of the Iditarod awaiting competitors here on Front Street in Nome. In February, it's the inflatable arch of the Iron Dog as the top teams have reached the halfway point. Team 39, Cody Barber and Brett Lapham. No strangers to the Iron Dog competitors since 2015 and no strangers to each other in their fourth race as a tandem, but they are strangers to this feeling. It's a, a first for us to be here first, so pretty awesome. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. The first to arrive in the much anticipated Gnome Garage and it couldn't come soon enough with low visibility, high winds and white out conditions the past 48 hours in Western Alaska. I'm just trying to follow and uh, see where to go. It's been pretty difficult the last couple days. The trail conditions are much better than, than years previous, but the weather is definitely worse. As the 18 teams remaining just wanted to make it to the halfway point with their machines and themselves in one piece. Uh, my windshield, I hit a uh, uh, like reflective post at about 85, somewhere in there. Connor isn't necessarily supposed to be here. His partner, Kenny Cleanwine, got hurt about three weeks ago, so I stepped in. So, And you had no intentions on running this year. Still don't. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to the Iron Dog rookie, Tyler Reese, the 19-year-old, getting his first bumps and bruises from what is known as the world's longest, toughest snow machine race. You can't really see anything, so we're cruising. Um, I'm just looking down at my GPS, and then before I know it, my snow machine drops out from below me, and then I kind of went right through the windshield, and the windshield cut my chin open, so. Really, it was like 30 miles from Buckland, so we rode into there, and then we took a layover, and I went in, and they stitched me up there real nice. It was, it was good. And hey, rookie mistakes happen, but you can learn from them, like Team 26, Tim Gassett, and Joseph Google. No. Uh... <laughs> We call ourselves the ultimate rookies because we do all the rookie things. And oh, man. we went out pretty hard out of the gate on day one. Yep. Had a couple of wrecks. Uh, and we got those out of our system, and we've been building momentum since then. While there are still many miles to the finish line, getting even halfway is a victory celebrated with a banquet on Wednesday, which says a lot about the demand of this race. Been looking forward to this since the, the, the day we got onto the Big Lake Trail. Yeah, for the last, like, three days. <laughs> I've been wondering when we're going to be here. For the teams that have reached Nome Wednesday, they will assess their machines and get to work on them as they get ready for the second half of Iron Dog 2024, taking off on Thursday. Reporting from Nome, Jordan Rodenberger, Alaska's news source.